I am Mo, also known as Drum Cell. We're here planning a party tonight here in Atlanta, Georgia. I just use one word, it's just techno. Because I think a lot of people just throw that word around, they hear electronic music, they hear anything with a 4-4 beat, they just say it's techno. And in one way, um, techno is a very broad term, you know, it's, a, it's just like saying rock. I mean, you have heavy metal, you have death metal, you have punk rock, you have classic rock, and there's so many different styles of techno. But uh, what I try to do, at least, with my sets is really keep true to the root element of what techno is. I mean, just the really raw, dirty, hypnotic, um, repetitive and loopy style that, that techno can be. Um, that goes back to the early days of early Detroit techno and the influence that Europe had on it. Um, and the instruments, that is a big part of techno to me, you know, electronic music, modular synthesizers, you know, old rolling gear and stuff like that. I was really obsessed in my youth with science fiction films and particularly the idea of the future, stuff like Blade Runner and things like that. And that was always like a really big part of me and I think that's why I gradually just kind of gravitated to electronic music because electronic music to me hearing it in the 90s was always like this is music that I should be hearing in the year 2050 or something and uh, it was very sci-fi to me and it was really futuristic and, and the instruments the synthesizers as, as old as they could be going back to the 70s or the 50s or whatever they still looked very futuristic to me just now a fully functional part of my body and I can't seem to live without it I just tend to just eat sleep and shit techno all the time um, sometimes you hear it very often by people on the street saying you have so much gear and you travel with so much gear Isn't it kind of pretentious or people in the crowd don't really care and they, I don't really care if the crowd knows what I'm doing on stage or not and what, what the bottom line for me is that I'm having as much fun as possible while I'm playing Because I think uh, the crowds usually feed off that energy and how much fun you have um, I grew up in the classic days of playing on turntables two techniques made on mixers I played on on turntables for a really long time, but um, once again, reflecting back on my entire inspiration of you know future technology and everything like that, I, I've never been one to just hold on to the past. I like to evolve in what's going forward. You know, I don't really organize which track comes first or which track comes last. Everything just kind of ideas come to me while I play, and that's that's the part of it that I really like having fun with because I never really know what's going to happen next. You know, it's always kind of a big surprise. I'm Drum Cell, and you're watching UniqueSquared.com. <laughs> 